trail that the rites had blazed is wide open to a host of pioneers. Graham White, a great name in British aviation. Gustav Hamel, the German. Yes, the list is long and distinguished. Pergo, the Frenchman, the first man in the world to loop the loop. Latham, mechanical failure robbed him of being the first to fly the channel and to make it a British achievement. Cody, Blerio, Brabazon, nothing can stop such air crazy heroes. For them, the sky was the limit. At an air display in the United States, the new sport comes in for high-level patronage as one of the Wrights demonstrates what he and his plane can do, he arouses the interest of none other than President Theodore Roosevelt himself. A few more spectacular dives and swoops, and the President has made up his mind. Heedless of those who express doubts, he takes his seat in the Wrights' plane. If they can do it, so can he at least as a passenger. A short hop and history is made again by the rights. Congratulations rain on the president. The first head of any state to fly in an aeroplane. Well done, sir. Great news. But bad news in Britain. The end of the Edwardian era. Behind the dead king, the last great parade of the regal. The Kaiser of Germany, the boy one day to be Edward VIII, Alfonso of Spain, heads and representatives from every state in the world. Pick them out for yourselves. You'll never see such a concourse again. French, Italian, Austrian, Chinese, Indian. Positively the last appearance of the greatest show on earth. And behind the procession, the coach of Alexandra, the queen, the widow. And so Britain has a new king and queen, George V and Mary. But though George has all the intention of following the peacemaking and maintaining the world of his father, Already events are moving too fast for him. Already there are other processions through the streets and cries of votes for women, as suffragettes demonstrate. Already men and women in great industrial cities are demanding better hours, higher pay and fairer shares, in growing unrest, in strikes and stoppages. The wealth of the haves is being besieged by the have-nots. Meanwhile, Emperor Franz Joseph of Austria pays a visit to Bosnia, to that very Sarajevo, where soon the assassination of his son will spark off the First World War. Signs and portents. But never mind the portents, let's celebrate a coronation. With full ceremony, King George rides to Westminster Abbey for his crowning. 
but even in the midst of rejoicing. Fire engines? Was it an omen? And there you are. Movies and memories all mixed up together. The fact and the fiction. Dramas and comedies. Ah, the comedies. Those are what one remembers best. Was the illusion crazier than the reality? Father's first car. There was human drama in a nutshell. sneeze. Put pepper into the old man's handkerchief and let's see what happens. Whatever it is, lifelike, it's certain to be funny.